So upon unboxing this, I expected there to be a bunch of styrofoam and plastic, and I didn't expect to see this case. It actually has wheels at the bottom, so you can roll it around. The wheels would be nice because this thing weighs about 40 something pounds, 42, 43 pounds. This demolition jackhammer does come with a couple bits, but there are other bits that you can buy for it. The manual does specify what type of hydraulic oil to add. When setting the machine up on end, you'll be able to see the oil in the sight glass if there's oil in it. And so you'll want to make sure that the oil is about halfway up in the sight glass. The task for today is to finish ripping out this chimney. In some parts of this tear out, I'm going to be pretty aggressive with the jackhammer. In some places I'm going to be really careful because I don't want to damage the foundation. I would suggest plugging the jackhammer into a 20 amp outlet if you have one available. The motor is rated for 1500 watts, which is easily powered by a 15 amp outlet. But the power supplied actually says 2200 watts, so if you have a 20 amp outlet, definitely try to plug this into a 20 amp outlet. I know this jackhammer could definitely take out that last piece of the bottom. I'm just worried about damage in the foundation. To repair this corner in the future, I'm going to go ahead and take that metal pipe out and fill that in with a mortar mix and then I'll put some concrete type caulking in the corner. In a previous video, I had shown taking down my cat fence where I had the netting over the top here. I definitely want to try it out on some rocks because we're going to be tearing out some rocks in the lawn here pretty soon and it'd be nice to use this jackhammer. Oh yeah, it'll do some damage. I don't want to take out too much of this concrete, but I do got to try this thing out. I like reviewing Vivor tools because generally their tools are really good and this jackhammer certainly didn't disappoint. This jackhammer works really well. I actually bought one of the large jackhammers from Harbor Freight a few years ago, and I towed it around on a hand cart that I kind of modified. And this thing, I think, works just as well as that. And it's not nearly as heavy, but it certainly can mess some stuff up pretty quick. In our next video, we're gonna be breaking apart a lot of the big boulders in our yard using a product called Dexpan. And then we'll use this small jackhammer to finish breaking apart the pieces to get them out of the ground. So if you wanna see this thing in action again, watch out for our next video. And we thank you so much for watching.